Hi, my name is Helen and I'm a member of the Data School UK in Cohort 43 at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use date tables in Power BI. This is kind of like a calendar and it's beneficial for time-based analysis. It helps ensure accurate calculations and it allows you to change the format of your dates. So let's jump into Power BI and get started. Using example Superstore data, which can be found in the link in the description, and we'll also be using the orders table only. Once this has been opened up in Power BI, go to modeling and then new table. We're going to call our table underscore date because the underscore sends this table to the top of the pane on the far right because the tables are listed in alphabetical order. And this is just good practice because it'll help you find the date table faster when there are many other tables. Now we're adding columns into this table using add columns along with calendar auto. This adds a continuous date field. Now we're going to add fields which extract the year, month and day from the date fields that we just created using their respective functions. Now that we've done this, we can have a look at the table view and we can see the date field along with the three new fields we've just created. For our first example, we're going to create a line graph which shows sales over time by month year. To do this, we have to go back into our date table and create a new field called month year. In this case, we're going to use format and we're going to use format date specifically with a comma following that. And then in double quotes, we're going to have four lowercase y's to represent the full year and then a dash and then three capital M's to represent the abbreviation for the month name. So, for example, December would be written as DEC. Now that we've gone back into the table view, we can see the field we've just made called month year and it's got the year and then a dash and then the abbreviation of the month. So we've made that successfully. Now, in order to make any graph in the future, we need to build a relationship between the date table and our orders table. So we've got to go into the modeling tab and then create a relationship between the two tables via the, their respective date fields. Now that we've created a relationship between the two tables, we can start trying to make a graph. So if we try to create a line graph first by putting our new month year field into the x-axis and sales onto the y-axis, you can see that unfortunately the month year isn't in chronological order, which is kind of what we're looking for. So this means we need to make some changes in our date table. So what we're going to have to do is create a new numerical field that we will be using to sort our month year field. We're going to call this new field month year sort and it's going to be calculated by adding together the year and the number of the month. So December would be 12, for example. Um, however, we're going to multiply the year by 100. And the reason we do this is to add more weight to the year. And also because you want to get distinct values for each unique combination of month and year. And if you don't times it by 1000 and just add it without doing that, the value for say 2018 February would be the same as January in 2019 and that's exactly what we're trying to avoid so we multiply by 100 instead it actually doesn't have to be multiplied by 100 it can be any arbitrary number as long as it is big enough all that's left to do now is click on our month year field and then go to sort column and then sort it by the month year sort field that we've made so now we've sorted the month year one by the month year sort column. Now, if we remake our line graph, you can see that the x axis is now successfully in chronological order. Just as a note, this technique can be used for other timescales such as weekday name and quarters as well. I hope that this video has um, helped you out and you feel a bit more confident using date tables. Please remember to check out the description for the data set and subscribe for notifications when we release new videos.